Hello and welcome along and welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm. Uh, we started off today by doing a little bit of work with our cows. We've got, um, well basically we, we need to clean them out, we need to give them some straw. Uh, otherwise they're pretty good. We might give them some water at the end of this video if we have time. Um, but mostly today we're looking at doing our fields. Uh, we need to do some fertilizer on our uh, on field 52. And I think we need to do some weeding as well. I think we need to spray some herbicide, if I remember correctly. We might have got through all of that last time. We'll just check as I back out of here. And, uh, oh yeah, I need to check whether we need to do any more straw in here. Let's, so let's check this uh, in here. If we have a look here. Yeah, we do need to do some weeding on field 52 and field, uh, well, field 83 is a grass field. But yeah, field 52, we definitely need to do some weeding. Um, we got lime, but uh, that is already uh, that has already been seeded. Uh, and you can see, yeah, we're pretty good on the fertilizing here. So this little patch will actually be fully fertilized by this. But this needs spraying and uh, doing some solid fertilizer on. So we're going to be doing that. Uh, our cows, that is enough straw for them. So we can go and put this back. And out the way. And we still need to sort out this mixed ration for the cows. So we're going to try and do that later as well. Now that we've got this emptied. We need to. Uh, well, we really kind of need to go and uh, empty out. The straw from the. From our, uh, mixing it wagon as well. In fact we should be able to do that now. So let's uh, switch over. Drop that off get ourselves this and you can see we're getting later and later into autumn in fact it is late autumn it's the last day of autumn today and uh, and we're going to be trying to uh, keep these cows going I see what we got we yeah we could really do with putting some mixed ration in I don't know if we've uh, how our mixing wagon is going we should have that's the thing. We need to empty out the rest of what we've got in here. Get this into our cows. And then we'll be good. In fact, we're not going to be able to clean our cows out if we do this. So what we want to do, we want to head over here. Drop this off the front. And, uh, and then get ourselves the bucket. Which I think is actually down the bottom. Yep. So lots of driving all over the farm. I'm going to uh, I'm going to go get the bucket. We'll clear out the cows and uh, and we'll go from there. I think there we go. We've got the bucket into the cows. We go yeah and clear them up. And having done that, we'll then be able to go and empty the rest of our silage into here. Uh, which yeah, we need to do that in order. Ooh, made ourselves jump a bit. Can be uh, a little bit tough sometimes to get this lined up right especially this this shed seems to have quite a few bits where you can catch the floor which is not very helpful but we have got all of the silage that they messed up back in let's go and hook up to this uh, I don't think we're gonna need our bale spike for this bit we just want to get this uh, lined up and you can see we've got the care wheels on here. These are the care wheels we put on last time. Uh, that is because, as I said, we're going to be going and doing some fertilizing on our field in a moment. So hook that up and hook those up. I think we, uh, yeah, we've got a fair amount of forage in here. I'm hoping that this is going to empty most, if not all, of it out uh, and leave us with the straw and then we'll just have to find somewhere to dump the straw and turn that on drop a load of that out interesting that this doesn't seem to have an animation for tipping out uh, forage from it now it should take us down to just straw absolutely perfect 
three uh, three thousand liters of straw. Cows are nicely fed, and we can just I think we'll just take this around the side here. And what I'm going to do is leave this feeding wagon in this shed to remind myself I need to empty it out in this shed going forwards. But this will top off our straw and uh, and leave us with enough of that in here. I think this will, yeah, so this will let us just empty it out here as well. I've got an animation for that. I'm guessing it's just got no animation for if you're you're dumping out uh, silage and hay because it can't decide which uh, it is that you're doing. So it's uh, yeah. So it just doesn't do it. So we'll leave this in here for now uh, as a reminder that we need to empty out the rest of the straw from it. And I guarantee that I will be going looking for that and going, where have I left that? Where have I left my feed wagon? We're not going to have to feed the cows for a little while. They should be pretty good for now. But yeah, we definitely, with, with their milk production starting soon, we definitely want to be in a position where that is, uh, that is doing better. Uh, yeah, we don't want to be this way. We want to be heading down the bottom, drop the front off this. In fact, drop the whole front unit off this. Uh, and then we're able to go and get our fertilizer spreader and get that started. Sheep are pretty good. Uh, I just we, we're working with the cows really to kind of clean up that issue that we've got. And somebody made a really good suggestion in the comments uh, the other day. If what I should do with the straw is cut open uh, a bale and uh and then just use the bucket to fill it as much as i need to until i reach the uh until i reach the amount absolutely brilliant idea uh i am going to have to do that because it's uh, quite honestly yeah so i think that's uh that's what i'm gonna do with that uh what we want to do here is customize this might as well repair this tractor while we're here and the reason why i'm in here is i want to add some front weight to this it seems to have taken, yeah, the front, there's some weirdness that goes on with the settings in here sometimes. Uh, but that should do us. That will set us up nicely, like so. Uh, let's repair this. Oh, we're going to repair this as well because there's a little bit of, uh, yeah, it's not in great condition. So we'll repair. Yes. Didn't cost us too much. All in all, things are working pretty well on the farm. We we've still got twenty-seven thousand. We have not. Um, we're <coughs> we're we're making good money here. We've not borrowed anything anymore, so uh, we are a, we're a debt-free farm. We have we are leasing all our land. Is the only thing. So uh, yeah, all of our land is leased, but we are able to farm it with the equipment we've got, which is. To be honest, I'm I'm pretty amazed at how much we are able to lease this farm, or how much we are able to work the farm with what we've got. Uh, it's not big equipment by any means, and yet we seem to be thriving with it, and uh, and and not having too hard a time with it, which is to me is amazing. The thing that, that as always, the thing that's giving this the hard time, and the thing that makes this difficult. Uh, is uh, is the geo we're using the seasons geo we're using here is a hard seasons geo i'm not having such a problem with it anymore i'm uh, i'm i'm quite yeah i've i've kind of worked out how i need to work it which is good news i think right let's get this started shall we and we'll start with the headlands on this great a little vicon spread of this only takes a thousand liters um, but that is actually going to be enough to do us quite well I think uh, we might have to go and fill up once or twice but it's got a good spread on it this little Vicon and uh, and yeah really really cheap really useful uh, and I think this does lime as well if I if I remember correctly so we're able to to lime fields with this too 
Um, makes a, a big difference having that functionality in a, a single spreader. Otherwise, you have to get a, uh, a larger fertilizer spreader that does fertilizer anyway. Uh, at which point you kind of go, well, what's the point in having a small one like this? 85% uh, at this point. I am going to get the rest of this field done and dusted, I think. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll be nice and good and we're moving forwards coming to the end of the field and the uh, the rain has started falling now uh, we have had to refill a little bit of fertilizer uh, we didn't quite have enough to make it to the end of the field but we should have now I think yeah 21% only a very little bit left uh, and that is our big field nice and ready for this I think it's gone pretty well getting this field turned around. Uh, we'll see how well this uh, crop survives the winter. But uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to be okay. Uh, all in all, I think, yeah, the, the mistake we made earlier on, early on, uh, was that we, we just shouldn't have bought the farm. We should have... Uh, lease the farm with what we've got and, uh, and and gone with it that way but that has worked brilliantly we've got that field all covered now so looking at field 52 it does need spraying with some herbicide uh, and in fact field 91 could field 91 could do with some uh, some care as well but I'm not I'm not too worried there's a there's a patch here actually in the middle of the field where I've missed. It must have been where I ran out of uh, fertilizer. So we'll go back, we'll just get that patch quickly. And then that will be this field done. There's not a lot, to be honest, it's last day of winter, there's, no, uh, sorry, last day of autumn. There is not a lot to do on the farm at the moment, other than sort of trying to do these bits and pieces. I'm loath to uh, do spraying in the rain. Uh, to me, that, that just never seems realistic, and I, I'm not a fan of doing it. We could get our little sprayer on here and do this, but I'd, I would say it's a good spring job for us to do that. I could go and get some more. Actually, I could refill this with fertilizer and, uh, and fertilize our grass fields. Uh, I think that might be a good idea. Help that along, get that going. Is that regrown? I'm not sure that's regrown yet. Uh, hopefully it will before winter kicks in because otherwise it's going to be a long time in spring before it does. That is looking healthy. I don't want this, I don't want this to grow too much. This grows up much higher uh, than it won't survive the winter. So we really, really need that to, uh, to not grow any further. All in all, though, the farm seems to be uh, beginning to thrive a bit more than we did earlier in this series. It's all uh, it's all moving that little bit better, uh, and we're doing. I've got lots of sort of little side bits and pieces to do. So, yeah, this is this is going well. Let's go and refill this with some more fertilizer, though, and we can go and do our grass and uh, and make sure that that is growing as well as it can so into here reverse this up and fill it up with some more fertilizer off of our pallet oh wow almost almost an entire pallet or almost the entire remaining pallet but that's all fine yeah, looking good. And we got we got 15 hours on this little uh, Massey Ferguson now. We do use this an awful lot. And that's only on our first year here. Our first year on this farm, we've had, got 15 hours of use out of this Massey. That is quite a lot. And I don't think we've washed it once. I think we might need to spend some cash and get uh, get something to wash this with. Right, let's start her off, and yeah, that's that's going darker. So yeah, this really does need 
uh, a little bit of uh, fertilizer we got some um we got uh, we've not got that much slurry actually we've got an awful lot of manure so second year after harvest we'll be able to uh, spread manure on these fields and do well but this should give us a nice healthy grass crop come the springtime the trouble is, the trouble we've got of course is making sure that that grass crop is then utilized because that's the thing we have at the moment we have a whole load of grass sitting in our uh, in our silage tap it would be really good today if this brain would go away and we were able to cut a bit more grass and get it rowed up into the silage clamp from the other field. Because I don't think we've cut the our other grass field since the summer. And I'm, I'm guessing there's a fair amount of grass sitting in it. Can't see it from here, unfortunately. But yeah, I, I reckon there's a fair amount of grass sitting in our other grass field that we haven't cut this year. And we can't cut at the moment. Because if we cut it in this rain, it will immediately diminish. Right, so I'm going to... Now I've got my head like, head lens done. I'm going to continue on on this field. Get this done and fertilised. And uh, what we'll do is we'll see what the state of the rain is uh, when we finish this. And maybe we will get that field cut. Maybe we'll be able to get one final cut of grass this year uh, if this rain lets up. And the answer would appear to be no. The rain is not going to let up. I actually did check the uh, the seasons panel, the season screen, and uh, and yeah, this rain is going to set in until nine o'clock this evening. Uh, it is not going anywhere. There is nothing we can do about it. Uh, it's not good. So uh, yeah, we are pretty much done for that. Let's have a look at where we are with our animals. If there's any work we can do with them. The chickens, actually, the chickens need a load of work. Uh, so we'll go and do them. We'll go and clean them out, uh, get them some more food. Uh, otherwise, this field is done. And uh, we've got a nice, good level of uh, fertilization on that grass now. Let's go and give a... Uh, let's go drop off our fertilizer spreader and uh, and we'll go and grab the uh, the front loader on to the front of this and we'll go and grab our shovel as well actually and sort our chickens out make them happy so that's around here we might leave the care tires on this for now we're not lifting any anything particularly heavy with it so it doesn't make sense to get them off especially if we're looking at doing some spraying of herbicide and things with any luck it won't get too cold next game day and we'll be able to do some spraying because I think it's going to be a clearer day let's have a look how are we looking for the next game day uh, we're looking at snow of course we're looking at snow next game day it was an it <laughs> this geo i'm amazed that this geo is still surprising me uh we're gonna switch the wheels as a result there's there's yeah we're gonna need wider wheels on this we're gonna, probably gonna be clearing snow next time right let's go ahead we've got a great demand on as well which is always a, a good thing to check out so we'll we'll give that a check right we want one with wheel weights standard Standard with wheel weights. There we go. Yes. Probably dropped the weight off the front. It has. Uh, but that's alright. We don't need the weight on the front. Uh, not for while we are doing this. Wheel weights just keep that extra little bit going. Right. And then buckets. And while we're doing this, we might as well clean out the uh, sheep as well. There we go. So we sold off all the eggs last time. Made a decent amount on the eggs last time. I was, I was impressed by uh, 
by our egg sales. This, uh, yeah, clear up that. That will make our chickens happier. And then we just need to go and grab ourselves a little bit more wheat. We don't need a huge amount. Um, I don't think we have any there. So we do have some in our stores. Over here. So we'll go pick up that. Yeah. Wow. Far more than we need. But this will go nicely into here. Just need to make sure we don't overfill it because otherwise it ends up on the floor. see it going up slowly and there we go up to 1600 yep I think we should stop it about there how much has that given us 1724 I think it takes 1800 liters so that is all good we'll leave that at that point otherwise we are going to overfill and we're just going to go and clean the sheep out I think this is going to be a slightly uh shorter video than normal but there's as I said before there's not that much to do around the farm today it is it is very much sort of clearing up sorting out uh, and, uh, and doing a little bit of field work to keep things going I could possibly do some more fertilizer spreading but it's not well I think we'll, we'll see how we go uh, we've got a fair bit of grass sitting here so let's get that picked up and put back in with our sheep. So that'll be good. We've got some uh, we've got some wool that's going to be good to sell to, uh, beginning of next year, I think. When's wool sales the best? Wool sales is uh, yeah, beginning of the year wool sales. Now where was our great demand? What was our great demand for? Uh, it was for soybeans. Wow, that's that is such a pity because we would have uh, we would have done pretty well with the soybeans there with that had our crop not failed. So we'll leave that and uh, and yeah, I think that uh, that is pretty much where we're going to leave it for today. So as I said, slightly shorter video than normal, but uh, we did get a load of stuff done, which is good news. Uh, and as a result, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.